Hello everyone, welcome back to another March card making class video. So um, this time we are using When It Rains and this is a new um, set in the current catalog from March till April. It's the 2083. It does come in a thin cut uh, which cuts out um, the girl with the umbrella but I did not get this. This time I just had it um, just as a stamp. Um, but it's not really that hard to cut out by hand too in case you miss it. It just wasn't out with the um, die when we were able to order it. So I just got it without, but that's fine. All right, so this is the card we're going to do today. And again, um, you can color her more in. You can do more paper pacing as we will sh uh, I will show you here in a few. Um, but um, I need to do this for my classes so I know we are time bound. Uh, and um, I have to make sure it's not getting, you know, taking too much time up. So let's see. We also are going to do a slim card. And if you're not familiar with these slim cards, so these are available um, on the website too. There are 20 in a pack. 20. It's X257. They come in envelope and the card bases. And they're just like our bulk um, regular cards that we use bases. Nice white, um, nice and sturdy. And I'm going to show you a little bit what we're going to do with those. So besides um, stamping this in black, I also used our mint as a stamping color. And um, let's start with the little girl here and her rainbow. So everything else aside for now and I leave this card here so you get the idea oops we don't need that many boots boots on the ground it is okay so first things first we have to cut these out so what I've done was I used a piece of this is two and three quarters by five and three quarters and then the mat is in blue which is six inches by three inches so um, three by six and then this is just a quarter shorter to give us a nice outline so you can color her completely in you could um, stamp like I did so I stamped the umbrella on some polka dot paper and I stamped her boots and we're just going to cut them out individually. You can do this with the whole girl if you wanted to. Or you can color her in with your markers or your watercolor pencils, whatever you feel. Or you just leave her black and white, depending on what else you do with the card. Um, so she's stamped just in black. And then I used um, the mint color. And here's our little splash that goes right around her boots. And then I used a little um, raindrop um, stamp and just stamped a couple raindrops. So I stamped it in and out here, also in mint. And further on, we used a sponge. So um, these sponges come in a nice round, big sponge, relatively inexpensive, um, Z697. And I just cut mine in quarters and then again in eighth. And I use one of these little paper clip thingies to hold them. But this is big enough for me to use on those little projects. And what you want to do is I just go in the ink a little bit and then go over the edges here around the umbrella. If I get a little bit on the umbrella, it's not too bad because we cover it, cover it up anyway. But I want the edges you know the corners be a little bit darker and lighter towards the middle so you just use your sponge and the sponge really gives you a really nice fine little um, detail so it's really easy to apply and then we do the same down here each corner a little bit a little bit in the middle and then this is it for here I did do, while I have the sponge in my hand, a little bit sponging down here too. So let's do that as well while I have this open. So this is our card base. And I don't want to get it 
over on this side. So what I'm going to do is just fold it over and then come back here and do the top. And you can do as much and as little as you want. So if you just want it a light, just keep it light. If you want it a little bit darker, you just have to go over again multiple times. And with these light colors, it's really nice. If you have a darker color, you want to be a little bit more careful not to see any, um, not to see any stripes or so, but okay. Soften this out and I think this is good. And then down here, I just did a little bit here, this corner. And I know it's hard to see, you might not even see this on camera right now, but when you go over it the second or third time, you can see how the color finally shows. But that's what we want. We don't want a ton of color, we just want a little bit. And I think that's fine too. All right. So that was our mint ink. And now we're going back to cutting. So first things first, um, I cut out the umbrella. And in this case, I went really straight along the black lines. And when you cut, um, hold your paper. And I'm a righty, so lefties, you just do it in reverse. And you just go along the edges and you, you turn your paper. Keep your scissors stiff. Just close your scissors slowly and you turn your paper. That way you get nice smooth cuts. And it makes it really easy to cut out. And here we go. So as you can see, I'm just cutting really right around the edges here. And I'm moving my paper. So it really goes easy. One more, and our little umbrella top is cut out. Here we go. So we're doing the same with the boots and the boots. So you can just cut the boots out. Um, I did, when you can see this here, I cut both out individually because I wanted to show that white space. Otherwise, it's going to be red, but if it's easier for you. Now, the only thing you have to um, keep in mind, so there's only one black line in the middle. And I told you to cut as close to the red line as you can. Now, since this boot is on top of this one, I want to make sure that my black line is on this top boot. Um, so I cut away from it for this one. And since they overlap, you really won't see anything. So let's cut the, this top boot out first and again we do the same thing like we did earlier I just hold my scissors and turn my paper with the other hand this is almost there anyway so then we're gonna cut the top off here and I do cut the top for both right now okay so now I want to keep the black line on this side. So I'd be very careful when I cut down here to keep that black line. And same down here. But that at the same time, I don't want to lose anything of the detail on the other boot. Okay, so there's my one boot. And now you can see that little piece here, that one I cut. And now I stay outside the black line for the rest of this. So I'm going to cut this one here. And around here, and we're done. That's all the cutting we do. 
So and when you look at the card close up, you can see that I raised the umbrella a little bit. So I just gonna put a couple of my little foam squares on here. Just a few. Most difficult part is to get these backings off. Okay, two more. Okay, and then we place this right on top here. And there's our umbrella. And then I'm gonna adhere the boots. So I'm gonna adhere the left one first and these ones are not raised they're just right adhered directly to the paper if I get adhesive out it's funny every time <laughs> I grab the most emptiest bottle that I have. I have multiple sitting here, but naturally it's always the one that has a problem getting the glue out or it's at the end. Okay, there we go. Just needed some cleanup. So I'm gonna use my tweezers to place them. top of the stamped image. There's one. And now we put the other one on here. And voila. They are on the card. And just cutting them out on paper and putting them on top already gives you a little bit of a 3D effect, even so there's no spacer underneath. And the umbrella, you can tell it it kind of casts a little shadow, which is nice. So this one um, really pops. And then all we did was, um, these are some of the older, we used to have those um, as um, alcohol markers in the program a couple years ago. So I'm just going to use, this one is for the brown hair, a little bit that's poking out here. And actually you can do blonde, red, whatever you want to do. Okay, there's my hair. Then she's going to get some color on her legs. whatever skin tone you have on hand or if you want to put her pantyhose on or something up to you and then I just colored in her skirt and her belt. And you can color in her whole jacket if you want to. Or use different colors. But we keep it simple this time. And there you have it. She's ready to go. Now we adhere her to the blue. Oh, let's put the blue on the card first. Okay, so this is the right way around. And I'm gonna put the 
pieces and line it up so we have a nice even space around the glue. Now we're going to put her on top. And she goes in the center of the blue paper. finished we're gonna put this one on here so this might not be um, depending on how it's cut um, I just make sure there's an even spacing around here too and if there's a little gap between the top and the bottom that's fine because we still have the glitter paper that goes on there so that will make up for any gaps that might be there but it looks pretty good just lining it up this way and there's our shimmer paper, glitter paper that goes on top here. And then we have our little phrase, which is from the same stamp set. And I cut right along the blue. You can leave a white edge if you want to, but um, I'm going to cut this in half to make it more interesting. So when you do the white frame around, then it might look a little bit funny. Then you might want to leave the phrase in one piece. Okay. So and all I did was wish you I went in between here and snipped it off <clears throat> used my foam tape my little foam squares because this is raised Oops. This one somewhere down here. Maybe a little bit higher. There we go. And then wishing you goes over here a little bit. Perfect. And then we have our little star. In this case, I might just pop it here. So that's all that is to this one here. Besides the doodling on the inside, again, just using a pencil. This one is pretty much just a hand drawn straight line down here and over here. And in this case, I did a few extra hand-drawn um, raindrops, which you don't have to do. But here we go. All right. So this was our card number two, I think, from our March making card making class, and we've been using the When It Rains stamp set. So inside it says when life gives you when life gives you rain, wear cute views and go for a walk. And then uh, on the outside we used uh, wishing you brighter days ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will see you to the next one. Thanks. Bye bye.